a mobile app user with the Responder module can view and respond to incidents using the Verant Nowforce mobile application. This video describes how to respond to an incident. Response options include sharing live video, images and other vital information with the control room and chatting with other responders. The app main screen lists all your active incidents. You can tap an incident to access it. The Incidents button opens the incident screen. The number on the button indicates the number of new and active incidents. When a new incident arrives, you receive a pop-up notification with the incident details and a sound alert. The message pops up whether the app is in the foreground or background. Tap Show to see the incident's details and status. The Details tab shows the basic details of the incident, such as incident type, incident time, and incident location. The first line of the Details tab shows the incident type, priority, ID number, and incident timer. The next line shows details about the incident and its location. A map shows the incident location with a red pin and your current location with a green pin. An overlay shows your distance from the incident and the estimated time to the incident location. You can also receive turn-by-turn -turn directions to the incident by tapping the drop-down list next to the map. The caller name and phone number below the map allows you to auto-dial the person who reported the incident. The chat line displays the most recent update to the incident log. The comments line shows additional details about the incident. The status bar is located at the bottom of the screen. It remains visible even when switching between tabs. The left side of the status bar shows your current status. The middle progressive status button shows the next status you can update as the incident progresses. If the incident has a service level agreement, SLA, the arrival time is shown on the right side of status bar. By this time, a first responder should arrive at the incident location. You can always tap the arrow beside the progressive status button to open a pop-up menu that displays alternative statuses according to your current status in the incident, such as can't go or en route. If you don't respond to the incident within the allowed time, your current status changes automatically to failed to respond. After you receive an incident and are ready to respond, update the acknowledge status. Now you can see additional incident details such as info, form, and chat. The info tab shows further information about the incident such as the incident caller, points of interest, and assets. You can also see all the other active responders in the incident and call them by tapping their phone number. The form tab displays the incident's forms with more details about the incident. You and other responders can fill in the form with more details after arriving at the incident location. You can use the chat tab to communicate with the control room and with all other responders in the incident. When you are ready to head to the incident, tap the En Route button. The En Route status notifies the control room that you are on your way to the incident location. You can receive turn-by-turn -turn directions with real-time traffic information to find your fastest route to the incident. Tap the arrow next to the map to choose the navigation app you prefer to use. If the app is not installed on your mobile device, you will be redirected to download it. After you choose the navigation app, it opens separately. Your navigation preferences are saved for future incidents. You can always change your preference by clicking the drop-down arrow. If on your way to the incident, something happens and you cannot respond to the incident, tap the Abort button. This action notifies the control room and other responders that you are no longer available to handle the incident. When you arrive at the destination, change your status to On Scene. This status notifies the control room and other responders that you have arrived at the incident location. After you are on scene, the SLA icon on the right is updated to display the SLA completion time. By this time, a first responder should update the Done status. After you are on scene, you can fill in the incident form. Mandatory fields in the form are marked with a red star and must be filled in. Note that you cannot change your status to Done unless all mandatory fields are filled. To provide the control room with a live video feed of the incident, 
tap the camera icon under the details tab. You can enlarge a video by tapping it. To minimize the video, tap the video window. To close it, tap the white square button. After you have completed your activities and the form is complete, tap the Done button to notify the control room that you have completed your assignments. After you tap Done, you are no longer active in the incident and can't edit the form. When the control room confirms that all responders completed their assignments and closed the incident, you will receive a pop-up notification. If you want to view all your incidents, tap the Incidents button. In the Incidents Journal, you can see a list of all incidents, their details, and your status in each incident. You can filter the list by different parameters. You can also sort incidents by time, status, priority, SLA, and location. This video described how to respond to an incident in the Verint NowForce mobile app. Thank you for watching.